we're better off with stimulus than we are without stimulus. I don't think the $2,000 checks uh, make much sense. The real issue is going to be sustaining this expansion. You think about it, the 908 stimulus bill probably would pay out 200 to $250 billion a month for the next three months. The level of compensation is running about $30 billion a month below what we would have expected it would. GDP is running about $70 billion a month below what we would have expected it would. So in a way that's quite unprecedented, we have stimulus already much more than filling out the hole. And given that lots of the hole is from the fact, not that people don't want to spend, but that they can't spend because they can't take a flight or they can't go to a restaurant, I don't necessarily think that the priority should be on promoting consumer spending beyond where we are now. So I'm not even sure that I'm so enthusiastic about the $600 checks. And I think taking them to $2,000 would actually be a pretty serious mistake that would risk a temporary overheat. I would like to see more assistance to state and local governments. I would like to see more money put into testing, uh, more money put into accelerating uh, vaccines. But gosh, David, I think it would be a real mistake to be going to uh, $2,000. Well, that was former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers on Bloomberg TV last week. This clip got millions of views and prompted his Bloomberg opinion piece titled $2,000 stimulus checks would be a big mistake. With me now to discuss is Larry Summers himself. It's so great to have you on Quick Take, Larry. Thanks for joining us. You make this distinction between the politics and the economics of $2,000 checks. So what's that distinction? We need to help people. We desperately need to help people who are hurting. We desperately need to pick up the strength and growth of our economy. We desperately need to put COVID behind us. The question is how to spend money to do that. And I don't think that $2,000 checks across the board is the best way to target, is the best way to invest, or is the best way to uh, prevent COVID. And I don't think others do either. It, it's natural enough for political figures uh, to think that the more money you give people, the more people you give money to, the more people who may be enthusiastic about voting for you. But it's much more, this is much more in the realm of politics hmm. than it's the realm of an economic proposal for solving the hugely real problem of all the people who are in distress. So what would be the, the right thing for policymakers to do right now? What would you suggest? The right thing, the right thing uh, President Trump at last came to his senses, but relief was delayed. Unemployment insurance increases were delayed by his stalling. The PPP program that helps the small businesses, some of whom are really right on the edge, was uh, delayed. Lots of insecurity for tenants. So the right thing to do is to move ahead with a serious recovery package that's targeted towards those with the least income, targeted towards those whose lives have been disrupted by COVID, and targeted at investing in doing what we are not doing effectively as a country, putting COVID in the rear view mirror. China has one three hundredth the mortality rate from COVID that we do. If we could get this problem at its source by going after COVID, we'll get much better results. Okay, so let's talk specifics here because it's clear that President-elect Biden considers this COVID relief package is a sort of down payment. What do you think should be in the next package that, that Congress should consider? Targeted stuff. We need longer, we need longer uh, extensions of unemployment uh, insurance. We need a program under which people who take time off uh, from work or close their businesses because they're quarantining from COVID are uh, compensated. We need to double the outlays we're currently making on testing 
and on uh, distribution of uh, vaccine and on crash testing new vaccines and new, produc new production techniques for existing vaccines. We need to support uh, frontline workers in our schools and in our municipal hospitals. And we need to start repairing our country uh, at a time when our infrastructure is a national disgrace. Much better to pay people to be working than paying, than paying indiscriminately across the board. Former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers, thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate you joining Quick Take today.